Welcome to Gorringes. It's Friday, which means it's view day. We're open to the public. Would you like me to take the dog off you? Mm -hmm. Right then. Come on, Darcy. No, this way. Let's see what we've got. Right, so this is the sale room where we keep most of our furniture, which seems to have all been sourced from one place this week. Um, someone's holiday home, I right hear. This is quite interesting. You need somewhere to keep your treasure. This trunk is only one to 150. It's fairly old to me. What else have we got around the back? We very rarely show you around the back because of this is where we tend to hide things. Very sponsy mirror. It's not something your mum would like, that does. <laughs> um, this caught my eye. <laughs> it can't, it, it has to catch your eye because it's the brightest piece of furniture in the world. Reminds me of um, party rings, the biscuits. <laughs> uh, where's the label? So you can have the you can have the table, the mirror, and this chair with the rams heads on the back for fifty to hundred. We guess, um, but we'll see. You never know. If two people like it. Darcy, come on, you're making this difficult. Come on, here we go. Um, lots of seating as always. Uh, nice long blue sofa. You see one of these all the time, don't you? Um, <laughs> Three to five hundred, we reckon that. Um, I don't, I don't know if it works. I don't have any change on me, and it's not plugged in. Um, but if you're interested, email it in. We've got plenty of time today and plug sockets, so we can uh, test it out for you. I don't know if any of our porters will fit on it, but we can try. Right, what have we got in the smalls? So, a bit of everything. This box intrigues me. So you've got your tortoise on here, so you've got your drawer. It's very difficult with one hand. <laughs> Thank you. Lots of different compartments in here to keep your trinkets. We've got, we've got something in there. Not that interesting. Um, and then this opens up here and it looks to be filled with timber so this is probably as my colleague pointed out to me in the week actually a shell um, and you open up there and you can hide even more of your trinkets um, we that's lot number 21 2 to 250 we've got on that one um, should come up very early in the sale we've got maps everywhere today three up there that seem to be dotted about the place so if that's your thing we can sell it to you um, I quite like this personally. Um, we've got it down as well, it's a shame about the sheath. Um, nice etch blade. So, 19th century, calling it, <laughs> calling it Sherman. Um, it's got a good estimate, that one actually. Uh, it's, mm, I think it'll make more than that personally. We've got it down as uh, zero to zero. Hello. I don't know what commission wouldn't be very much, would it? Um, so keep an eye on that one. Lot number 37. Uh, lots of silver, as always. This little casket down there. Um, that's a big piece of silver, that, isn't it? Oh, it? Belt there. Very small belt. I don't think I'd get that round my leg. Booze, as always. Plenty of it's nice, isn't it? It's Friday, I'm allowed to think about that, aren't I? Got some Japanese whiskey over there. It's not personally my thing, but someone reckons it's worth 150 pounds. What have we got in the jewellery? Ah, this. That says three Chinese items on it, so I think that must be right. Hmm. So we've got a Masonic, Masonic watch. I can't tell you how much we think it's going to sell for because it's not three Chinese items. So we'll look into that. Um, got this nice pendant, a few rings as always. It's quite a nice stone there in that box. Um, oh, even more booze, miniatures this time. It's a bit of a lucky dip, that one, I think. Personally, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. Uh, lots of dinkies. Uh, Popping up everywhere, we've got them here, here, 
a lot of 18th century glass always seems to sell well. Um, and over in the corner here we have Dan's coin section. I don't know a lot about coins personally, but I'm led to believe there's quite a, quite a lot of good stuff here. So that starts at lot number 251 and ends at 276. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that and see what happens. I'm not sure myself. What else have we got? What have we got right It's not anything you like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> More icons seem to be popping up every week. I don't know if these ones. I oh, know these are new, aren't they? They seem to be appearing from more booze as well. Caught my attention, didn't it? That's lot number 114, 150 to 2. Decoy ducks always seem to do alright, don't they? Always popular. 149, 60 to 100. More books. As if we didn't have enough books last week. More maps. And up here, more furniture. <laughs> nice repair on that, isn't it? <laughs> this has got to do well. This is exactly the sort of thing that people buy these days. We're always saying furniture doesn't make a lot of money, but if you find the right piece, it should. Drawers are probably... Uh, we were debating whether they were later or not. They fit nice and snug, but... Anyway, that... We've got it in a four to six hundred. It's lot number nine three seven. I find it interesting. You always want to know what's in the drawers, don't you? Sailfish. It's not silo blue. No, just bronze sailfish, one fifty to two. I couldn't find a signature on it. Uh, neither could my colleague. This is amazing. I don't know where they had this. I've never seen anything like it, and I'm not sure I ever will again. But just for an idea, this is quite a large piece. Um, look, I'm a 944. We've only got 150 to 250 on that. I think that should make a bit more. It weighs quite a bit. <laughs> Some more sprawny furniture. Lots of gilt wood. More mannequins. Only 120 on that. And what have we got on reception? Modern furniture. So, Ethan Allen console tables. 975, 3 to 500 for the pair. Um, similar style here. Where's the other one? There's a, there's a repair according to the label. Yep, yeah, there's another one here. Ethan Allen again, 1 to 150, lot number 982. Um, these, these should fly, shouldn't they? Um, yeah, set 700 to 1000 on these, 992. Cast irons. Garden furniture seems to be doing more and more these days. Um, everyone wants to spruce up their garden. Um, so yeah, uh, come down. Uh, we're open all day today, that's Friday. Uh, Saturday we're open 9 till 1 and Monday before the sale. See you then.